Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Here is Google Apps Updates Roundup number 51. In this episode, I'm going to show you 11 new features in 7 different Google Apps. So let's find out what's new. Let's start with YouTube. And now we have the option to react to certain moments in videos using emojis. To do this, you need to expand the comment section and look at the bottom right corner for the heart icon. When you tap on it, it will give you multiple emojis to choose from. When you tap on any of them, you will see a bubble on the progress bar confirming your reaction. Unfortunately, this feature is only available to certain channels and one of these channels is Mr. Who's the Boss in case you want to give it a try. Change number two is the ability to reorder and hide items from your playlists while playing. So when I start this playlist, for example, if you take a look here at the queue, you will see a handle on the left side that will allow me to order the videos. And also when I swipe to the left, I have the hide option. When I do this, the video will be removed from the playlist queue. But keep in mind, all the changes I make here will not impact the original playlist. This is a new experimental feature only available for YouTube Premium users. So if you have the Premium subscription, you might see this new banner in your home feed. When you tap on Try It Out, the feature will be activated. And lastly, YouTube started to roll out the Picture-in-Picture -picture feature to iOS users with YouTube Premium subscription. Next, YouTube Music. And now when you scroll down in your home feed, you will see a new section called All Time Best. This section includes automatically created playlists, categorized by the music genre, and each one should include the best of the best. You will also notice a totally different design for the playlist thumbnail compared to other ones. The second change is the new radios inspired by multiple artists, and one of these examples is the hip-hop radio downbeat. This feature was first available on desktop, which is something I mentioned in the previous episode, and now it made its way to the mobile phones. And now it's time for today's sponsor. If you are interested to purchase original Windows 10 and Office keys, head over to cdkeyoffer.com using the links in the description below, then apply my special promo code ID20 to get extra 25% discount. Windows 10 OEM key will cost you $16.23, which is very affordable. To complete your purchase, choose your preferred payment method input the details and once the payment is done you will be redirected to the orders screen to view your code click on the view keys slash codes button then click on get the key to activate your windows 10 oem key copy the code from the website head over to your windows settings then system scroll all the way down and click on about then product key and activation and finally click on a change paste the code in the text field and click on next then activate and now your original Windows key got activated. For more offers, please check the links in the description below. And now let's get back to the review. Now it's time for the Google Play Store. We finally got the Material U buttons we've been waiting for for some time. They still use the same green color like before, so don't expect them to match your wallpaper colors like all other elements inside the app. However, they got a new pill-shaped design that fits nicely with Material U. And for other elements like the filters, you will see the same rounded rectangles like all other apps that got material you. Next, Google Maps. And now we got a new nearby traffic widget that will show you live information about the traffic nearby right on your home screen. It comes with a zoom in, zoom out button that gives you more details if you want to or an overall view. The widget can fill your entire screen if you want to or you can make it as small as a 2x2 size. And I think it looks gorgeous in the dark theme. But also keep in mind that this widget will always use your location in the background, so expect some extra battery usage. The second change in Google Maps is the tweaked users share the location icon. Previously, it used to have a white circle around the profile picture, which is no longer the case. Next, nearby share. And now when you tap on the quick setting style, you will see a new toggle called device visibility that will allow you to hide your device completely without the need to choose a specific type of contacts or devices. This new toggle is also available under the nearby settings page. So when you go to nearby, you will see the same toggle over here. Next, keep notes. And in my previous episode, I showed you the drag and drop feature that allows you to copy photos from Keep Notes to other apps if you are in a split screen view. Back then, I only talked about the Gmail app, but after using the feature for a while, now I have the option to do it in Google Messages as well. So let me show you a quick example here. As you see, the bottom navigation bar of Google Messages will turn into blue. And once you drop the picture over here, it will give you the option to share it. 
So far, these are the only two apps I spotted. I tried it with third party and other Google apps and none of them worked. So you can add Google messages to the list. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about in this video, if you are a Google One subscriber and you have the two terabyte plan or above, you will get three new Google Meet premium features. The first one is the removal of the one hour limit. The second one is the ability to filter out the background noise. And lastly, record and store your calls to Google Drive. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes I wanted to show you in Google Apps. Please let me know in the comments if you spotted any new changes so I will include in my future episodes. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.